All right, I thought I'd do a little quick review of the Skidoo Link system. How they uh, hook on here and how these different uh, accessories work. Um, they work really well. They have this uh, rubber thing that flips over here and kind of prevents this latch from coming undone. Pop that latch off and this just lifts right out. Um, works really well. Just pops right out of that end. This end it hooks down in there and then it locks back in. Um, it's the same with these uh, these guys up here on top of the fuel tank that pops off just lifts right off nice and easy put this back on it no problems um, it it works really well I've gone a thousand miles plus and no problems nothing coming undone this back bag typically what I'll do when I'm riding is I'll run this uh, through the zippers it's kind of hard to do with one hand here but I'll put it up through this zipper up through the other zipper and then latch it on here and cinch, cinch it down that way the, the zippers can't come undone it seems to work very well um, never had a problem with that um, this bag this bag here definitely has more storage than that bag there when you open this up, it's very, very deep. I got all kinds of bags and stuff in here. It's very deep. Um, I generally put everything in either garbage bags or, you know, freezer bags, just uh, in case it's going to get snowy or wet. This one, this one kind of has more rigid sides. It's, it's pretty well formed to this shape. This works really well. It keeps everything out. I'm going to unroll it here. And it probably won't show up very well in the video, but, you know, it has pretty decent storage down in there. Um, this works pretty, pretty good system of how they have it here. You just roll up this outer bag I guess and uh, latch it together um, works pretty good when that's all rolled up and hooked in there really you don't get any snow in there even if it's kind of bulging and this this lid is kind of bulging up and not really closing well you still don't get anything in there uh, it works good. Definitely less storage um, in the in this bag here than in the picnic baskets. Um, the picnic basket doesn't really look quite as cool as that, but at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. You definitely get more storage in there. It really depends on what you're going for. The fuel tank, I don't know. It's kind of kind of a waste I think uh, the way I have it set up now that bag will not fit down there it hits the picnic basket in front of the sled so it only fits on top of the fuel tank so I got to have the fuel tank on there in order to use that second bag and there's really no need to take the fuel tank on most of the rides I go on at any rate there's places to fuel up within 100 miles of where I'm going and these things will go 150 miles so you really don't have to worry too much about it fuel I suppose if you're going to go off boondocking and you know in that deep powder you're just nailing it full throttle all the time you chew through some fuel pretty quick and that stuff you just don't go as far per gallon when you're in the in the powder but uh for the general trail riding really that fuel tank is a waste but 
keep in mind this is an enduro 137 track it's a little bit longer track and the way this is set up you cannot put that and that um, on there even if I swap them and try to put the basket in the front and this bag in the back this bag here will hit the tail light uh, assembly so it just doesn't work that's really the only way you can do it with the two bags with using that type of bag if you had two picnic baskets you'd be fine you could fit two picnic baskets on there pretty easy no problem um, I do have these brackets on here uh, to raise the fuel tank up this uh, style sled here Set this back up take this off has uh this is raised up here so yeah there's this little height difference here um and the, the bottom of the fuel tank is pretty well flat so you have to put these brackets on here to clear this uh, hump works fine works well no problems with it You don't have to do that. These picnic baskets are, are made to go over that hump. Um, this guy is made to go over that hump. You don't need those brackets. But, uh, like I said, you can't put this. This just doesn't fit. Doesn't fit there with the fuel tank. Thing pops off pretty easy. You know, you have a lot of a lot of space on there. If I were to put this guy on here, put that in there. See, it just doesn't. Uh, I can't get these brackets in there. Doesn't fit like that. It's the only way you can use these two bags on a 137 track is if you have the fuel tank to mount that back on top of. Um, but all in all, I love the Link system. It's very secure, rock solid. Never worry about it falling off or anything. You just hook it up and go. Don't got to worry about it. Highly recommend it.